G'day folks, it's uh, Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. I want to walk you through uh, something that uh, can cause you problems, something that you probably might even have every day. It's worth looking into. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is just twofold. Uh, one is uh, as part of the network cleanups that I do in the training. I always like getting rid of uh, extraneous protocols and stuff that doesn't need to be there or uh, can cause future problems. The other reason why I bring this up is sometimes this stuff is running all the time not isn't necessarily a problem but one day when you have a problem and you f see this for the first time you kind of freak out you go, oh wow what is this? this is part of the problem this is not part of the problem you go down some rabbit hole and you waste a whole lot of time and energy so it's kind of nice to figure these things out ahead of time to find out what is normal what is always happening and therefore you can fix problems a little easier in the future so here we go we've got ourselves this uh, desktop we've got a host here two different subnets and this guy is going to ping him and when you take a trace, you see uh, the destination and the source. So he's the destination and he's the source. You can see the ping request go out from him. And this is a layer 3 switch. And all of a sudden, he gets a redirect. And then the pings work. So from the command line, everything's fine. Everything works. Everything's great. Uh, but when I see stuff like this, I, it kind of little little flag goes off in my head, and I wonder: Is this by design? Is this by accident? Is this just happen to be working, and people don't understand or or seen what's going on underneath the hood? So let's take a better look at this, and we're going to look at the next slide. You can see the ping request. There's the the ping request going out, and when it goes out to this guy via the switch, then this gateway. This is this is the gateway. He comes back and says redirect and then you send the ping now the question begs if this is a layer 3 switch and it's doing the routing uh, why is this guy even getting involved he is the external router gateway whatever you want to call it that goes to the internet the default router the default gateway um, and this is part of my question again everything works fine it's just could be a little better a little cleanup so one thing I, I did, I talked to them and I asked them um, about the switch config and the router config. And this PC here, his default gateway, his default router, is not this layer 3 switch. It's this for some reason. Uh, and I, again, I asked them why would that be the case? Why wouldn't this switch be the default gateway or default router? Uh, the question question came back with some funny little answers the first answer was well it's always been like that the other one is well he's the only static uh, machine with a static IP so you know it works who cares that sort of thing so I had a little talk and I had a few recommendations for them and I said well if this isn't intentional or by design um, I would suggest you change the default gateway and that way it hits the layer 3 switch and it determines if it's internal or if it goes external um, the other thing that I suggested was make sure that switch, when you do make it a default route, that it has a default route or default gateway to go off to the internet uh, if the address is not internal. The other option that came up, uh, which I wasn't a great fan of, somebody had suggested, why don't you just disable ICMP redirects from that router, that internet router, and then um, it'll go to... Uh, 137 and that's not true what what will happen let me just go back here for a second if I disable redirects on this guy then when that packet hits him and he would normally redirect and say no no you have to go this way what's gonna happen is he'll just give it to him and that'll be the end of it and then this router has to take care of it and send it that way so you end up with um, some people call this routing on a stick or, or one-way routing or that kind of idea on this one port which again it's not the end of the world but it's not clean so it always pays to perform these tests on your network to better learn and understand how your equipment and devices behave. And I've even talked in other talks about uh, routing audits, which is another one of my uh, papers or even videos that you may want to catch in the future. So that's it, folks. Have a good day.